All right, so today we're going to jump into the world of sales tax tips and markup. Now, sales tax tip and markup are all found the same way. Uh, we're going to find out two different methods on finding these three things, sales tax, tips, and markup. And remember, sales tax is money that goes to the government, all right? Tips go to the worker, whoever is like helping you out. And a markup is like someone who owns a company, they want to make some profit, that goes back to the person that's selling the product, okay? So, which method of finding the total price of a bill with 20% tip do you prefer? So, you're going to have a choice here at the end of this video. All right, so first, sales tax. The actual definition I have is an additional amount of money charged on items that people buy, okay? So, that's the sales tax. When you go buy something, you got taxes on it, that's called sales tax. Let's do an example. Alyssa is planning on buying a new softball bat for $54. She also has to pay 9% sales tax. So what's her new total cost? All right, so I have a little picture of an Easton softball bat. The bat's 54 bucks, but she also has to remember to pay the 9% taxes, which we have here in California. Here's method number one. Method number one says take your sales tax, figure what that is, and then add it, add it to the regular price. So the first is, first thing you do, you find the sales tax. In this example, in order to find sales tax, we find the percent times the whole. So in this case, it was 9% times 54. But remember, when you have a percentage, you have to change it to a decimal in order to multiply. So I did that here. Change it by moving it two times, right? If the decimal's right here, we move it once, we move it twice, and that's why it ends up 0 0.09. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to times that by $54. And this dot here is kind of like putting it in parentheses, right? So multiply by $54. I find out that it's $4.86. Now, that's not the total cost, okay? It's not total cost. That's just the sales tax. So I got to take that and add it back to the regular price. Okay, so the next step is to add the sales tax to the regular price. And as you see here, I figured out what it was. Here was the regular price. Add it together. That means total uh, Alyssa will have to pay $58.86. So that's method number one. That's perfectly fine to do. Find each little piece, add it to the total, and you get your total answer. Now here's the second part. Second method is, look, add the percent of the tax to 100. If 100% represents the entire price of the bat, which is the 54, and the 9% represents just the tax part, then together, 109 is going to represent the entire amount. So, I'm going to go 109%, and then I change that to a decimal, right? Just like I did before with 9%, I move it two times, 1, 2, and I end up with 1.09. If I multiply 1.09, which is 109%, times 54, I end up with 58.86, which is the same exact amount as I figured out before. So, there's two different methods. We'll do a few more examples so you get a better understanding on which one you might prefer. So Jonathan's planning to buy a new FIFA, the new FIFA 2016 video game while it's um, while he's out of state. He's traveling out of state. He says, hey, this is the game. Hey, the sales tax here out of state, let's say in Nevada, is 7.5%. All right, so that's a little bit cheaper than buying in California. What will the total cost of the game be if the game sells for $30? Okay, so once again, I'm going to go through my two methods. First method is to add the sales tax to the total. So again, sales tax in this case was 7.5%. I move it once, I move it twice, and it looks just like this. I times that with the price of the actual game, and I find out that's $2.25. All right, so $2.25, that's the sales tax. If I add it back to the total of $30, I end up paying $32.25. That's $30 for the price of the game, $2.25 for the tax, so together, $32.25. So that's uh, method number one. Method number two says, hey, look, if I already know the game is 100% and the sales tax is 7.5%, if I add it together, I really have to pay 107.5%. 100 for the game, this is for the sales tax, that's everything. So if I take this 107.5% and change it to a decimal, one, two, looks like that, multiply it with the price, and I find out that, ah, 32.25 is the entire amount I have to pay. Again, these two values are exactly the same. That brings us to gratuity or tip. So tip is an amount of money 
in return for a service. Gratuity comes from the word gratitude, that you're happy, you're thankful for the person, you know, bringing you drinks, bringing you your food. So you give them a little bit of extra money uh, for the service they provided. That's called tip or gratuity. All right, so here's an example. Stephanie is treating her family out to dinner and plans to leave a 15% tip. If the bill comes out to $124 even, how much will she end up paying? So what I did this time is I'm going to use the same exact methods, okay? Tip is the same thing except tip, the money, extra money, doesn't go to the government, but it goes to the worker, the person who's helping you. So this time I went and put both methods at the same time, and I'll explain both, uh, and you can see that they're all both going to come out to be the same answer, okay? So let's take a look. Method number one, add the tip to the price. So that means 15% tip, that's 0.15, times it by the price, $124, is $18.60. So I go, okay, so that's how much tip I'm going to leave. That's tip. I add it to the price, 124. I end up with 142 and 60 cents. Okay, so again, that was figuring it out separately. Find out what the amount is just for tip, then add that tip to the price. The second method is to add the percent ahead of time to 100%. 100% is all of the amount of the food, so $124. And 15% is just for the tip. So really, I'm going to pay 115%. I move the decimal two times to make it a, uh, my percent to decimal form. And then I multiply that with, right? I multiply that with the entire amount. I end up with 142.60, which again is the same exact amount of money I would have paid either way, right? Either method is going to give you the same amount. So you can choose which one you prefer, which one makes more sense to you. All right, that brings us to our last example, which is called markup. It's the amount of increase the store sells an item more than they pay. So, this is kind of explain to you how this works. If you own a store, right, you're going to buy something from a warehouse at wholesale price. So, they give it to you cheaper because you buy a whole bunch of something. Let's say pencils, for instance. You buy thousands and thousands of pencils. They're going to give it to you cheaper. Then it comes to your company and you decide to add a markup to it, a certain percentage. You say, oh, I bought these pencils for 50 cents, but I'm going to mark them up and now they're a dollar. So that new price is what the customer pays, all right? So they have to make some extra money, and so that's why they're going to do a markup on there. So speaking of pencils, um, Mr. Ramos buys smencils for $0.55 cents each. He plans to mark them up 80%. What will the new sales price be, all right? And this is a real-life situation. I did buy them for about that price. All right, so here are the two methods, one after the other. So I can first do the method one, the markup to price. So 80%, which is 0.80, times by 55 cents, the price of the pencil, that's 44 cents. So that 44 cents represents the markup. Okay, that's how much extra I have to add to the price so that I can make a profit. So I take that 44 cents, I add it to 55 cents, and I get my 99 cents. Method number two says, hey, if you already know you're going to add that at the end, you might as well just add the percent to 100. So 80% plus 100, right? This is the markup, and this is how much the original price was. So together, it's 180%. And we take 180%, we move it, make it look like a decimal, and you multiply that with your 55 cents to find out 99 cents. And there you go. That's why Mr. Ramos sold the pencils from Avid for a dollar, because uh, I bought them for 55 cents, sold them for a dollar, and made an 80% markup profit on that. All right, hopefully that helped you out. Um, if not, you know, make sure you get all your notes down so that your teacher can talk to you about it on the next day. All right, bye-bye.